What's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of the Saskatchewan Real Estate Podcast, where we focus on Saskatchewan communities, local experts, and helping you learn more about the province's real estate market. This week, we're talking to Realtor Cam Lee and the five reasons why you should move to Melfort, Saskatchewan. This is the Saskatchewan Real Estate Podcast, the show that highlights Saskatchewan real estate. Looking to buy your first house, your next investment property? Subscribe to never miss an episode. Here's your host, Ron Caroni. Hello and welcome back to the Saskatchewan Real Estate Podcast. I'm your host, Ron Caroni, and this week we are going back to kind of my hometown, Melfort, Saskatchewan, and join me, joining me today is a realtor and friend, Cam Lee. How are you today, Cam? I'm excellent. Thanks for the opportunity. I'm really happy that you got licensed as a realtor because I was looking for someone to, to touch on Melford in the Northeast. And I'm really pleased to have you joining me because you have uh, an amazing background, Cam. And just quickly, before we get into the five reasons that make Melford an incredible place to live, uh, just touch on your background, Cam. So I am homegrown uh, in Melford. I grew up here. I graduated, uh, I don't want to say the year, but a long time ago. And uh, after that, I went to university in Regina, got my uh, bachelor's of arts in English degree. And then uh, after a couple of years working in Regina, I went to broadcasting school in Saskatoon and uh, got my first job here in Melfort. And uh, I was been here ever since. I worked in broadcasting for 18 years. And then I was uh, after that, I was the executive director of the local chamber. And uh, I decided to, uh, in my off hours, kind of uh, pursue the the uh, realtor side, I've always been interested in the in realty and uh, selling houses and buying houses and things like that. So I thought I'd pursue that. And I got fully licensed in August sometime, I believe it was. And uh, I've been uh, here ever since. Deep roots in the community. And I think it's a, it's an amazing move for you. You're super well connected with people in the community. You're very personable and all of your connections. So I think you're going to do really well and have maybe a, a step up on someone in Melfort who, if, uh, if you were just going there, you know, all of the communities, all of the people. So uh, I, I think it's a great move for you. And, and one of the great reasons why I wanted to bring you on to kind of touch on all the great things about Melfort as a community. Um, I grew up in St. Bruce, so I have a, a very close affinity for Melfort because that's where that was our closest big city nearby. So lots mm -hmm. of time sp spent in Melfort. And let's kick it off with number one, Cam, the small town feel, but the big city amenities. Well, it really is. Uh, you know, a lot of people here know, uh, you mentioned, uh, you know, people knowing each other. It's hard to walk downtown and go go to the post office or whatever and not run into somebody you know, uh, whether you're, you've are you been in the community for a year or for your entire life. You you pretty much know a lot of people because it's it's that small town feel. It's, a, it's kind of the best of both worlds. You have the small town, relaxed, kind of uh, take it to, not by the seat of the pants necessarily, but not so... Uh, go 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 necessarily you get to, a chance to experience life uh, but at the same time you know we have a lot of things around here that the big cities do we have uh, some great shopping there's some uh, other opportunities I'll tell you about a little later on but it's uh, it's kind of I always said it's the best of both worlds uh, a lot of different things happening in Melford it's a very exciting time to live here and uh, a very exciting time to both buy and sell a house. Yeah, if you are going to go grocery shopping somewhere, make sure to, you know, probably a lot an extra 15 minutes for for visiting while you're going <laughs> through the aisles. Uh, so at number true. two, we have the the play Melfort. And that's kind of the slogan, but you're saying it's not just a slogan cam. It's not. Uh, the city of Melfort went through sort of a rebranding a few years back. It was the city of Northern Lights, but they decided, you know what, what fits this community as far as a slogan goes? And I think they decided on Play Melford. And I think it was a good choice because there's so much to do here. Uh, a lot of opportunities that, quite frankly, didn't exist when I was young. Uh, I'd like to think I'm still young at heart, but not necessarily young anymore. But uh, there, it, there's a lot, like I said, to see and do. And, uh, you know, it's a variety of things from the Northern Lights Palace, you know, that has the hockey arena with the SJHL's Melford Mustangs and a lot of minor hockey as well and senior hockey, too. And uh, also in the complex is the 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 uh, swimming pool with a wave pool. It's just a, it's a great facility. It's kind of the best of both worlds, the summer and winter sort of aspect to it. 
there's also a, you know other great things sports and play uh, involved. Uh, there's a curling rink. There's a great golf course here. Uh, there's uh, fantastic parks, pickleball court. We have a pickleball court now, so that's great. But uh, one of the one of the crown jewels is the recently built Spruce Haven Park, and it features a, a great uh, park for kids. It's got the uh, the skateboard park, so that's always busy in the summertime and even in fall and spring. Uh, there's also the uh, splash park and uh, and uh, just a playground uh, for the kids, and it's just. It's a, it's a great uh, thing for the city of Milford. It brings in people from Milford and surrounding communities, the people that come specifically to Milford to take advantage of that. So that's one of the reasons I find Play Milford is a great slogan for the city because it really reflects what the opportunities are here. And uh, it's a great place to raise a family. There's a lot to see and do. And uh, it's just a very exciting time to live in the city. Yeah, and from my perspective, Cam, you see that the city is kind of getting younger as well. And I think that kind of ties into there's just so many great things to do and see in Melfort. And there is a lot for young families, young kids. And that nicely, you know, ties in with exactly what you're saying is there are great amenities for families. Absolutely. And what you did see during COVID, um, during the pandemic is... Uh, a lot of people from a wide variety of provinces come to Melfort to either retire in a quieter community or just come to work and work virtually. You know, they have jobs elsewhere, but they didn't need to necessarily physically be at their job. So they decided to come to a, a community that's maybe a little more affordable than some in Ontario or BC or whatever, and uh, a little quieter, a little more laid back. And that's that's one thing that people, I think, value during the pandemic is that that they were able to focus more on family and relaxation and what they enjoyed rather than what, you know, the hustle and bustle of regular day life is. So uh, I think Melford has a, a lot to offer in that way. Just, just that laid back sort of casual atmosphere. Great way to describe it. Yeah. At number three, Cam, close to everything. Yes, uh, Melford is a great place to, uh, to be because it, it really is close to everything you you know, you have uh, lakes like uh, Greenwater, you have Kipabiska, you have Tobin, you have a wide variety of other lakes that are an hour or less away. And it's just a, a, a great uh, time to uh, be able to take advantage of those. And uh, it, there's also a ton of uh, hunting opportunities nearby. Uh, you mentioned fishing and, and things like that. It's uh, It's also, you know, close enough to Prince Albert in the lake country up there too. It's only an hour or two away. So, you know, if you have a cabin up at Christopher or Emma, it's not not unfeasible to be living in Melfort just as it is in Prince Albert. You know, if you have opportunities here, uh, you know, have that weekend getaway up in the lake country. So it's, it's kind of centrally located. It's not far. It's less than an hour from Prince Albert. It's, you know, Maybe just over an hour and a half from Saskatoon. You know, it's, there's a lot of uh, a lot of recreational opportunities and 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 things like that. But you also have, if you need to go into the city for something, say an appointment, that there's a specialist that's not in Melfort. You know, you, it's not too far away. You can do that. Yep, exactly. And Melfort is really great from the sense that you get to take advantage of living in the community of Melfort and all the amenities that we touched on earlier. And it's kind of our best well-known secret that world-class fishing and hunting and the amazing uh, north that we have and some of the pristine lakes that we have access to, um, really, really incredible place and a good landing spot for that. So I, I think a great point on that one, Cam. Uh, at number four, and uh, I, I kind of didn't have this on my top five, but I think it's a really good one, is great farmland. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about the city of Melfort itself, but so much of Saskatchewan as a whole is focused on agriculture. And if you're not directly in the agriculture business, you know somebody that is, or you work with a company that has ties to agriculture. It's just the way the province is, right? So um, one of the great parts about the Melfort area is that, the you know, it's got some of the best farmland in, in, in the province. Um, there's a, a lot of... Uh, uh, excellent soil around here there's you know there's a ton of room you see people with uh you know there's uh a real uh apiary 
uh, sort of uh, community in Tisdale and area, Nipawin as well. So we're close to that. There's, you know, there's all sorts of uh, agricultural uh, aspects to Melford and area, whether, whether it be just farming, straight farming, there's uh, uh, farm implement dealerships, uh, you know, in Melford, Canistano, all sorts of uh, local areas. So it, if you're involved in agriculture, have interest in agricultural land, and there's some available here, you're, you're in good luck because it's a, it's some great land. And that great farmland also helps to grow the local economy. I think one thing people always kind of keep an eye on is, are these communities growing or are they getting smaller? And I think as we kind of move along, agriculture makes up such a, a big part of those local communities. And so when you do have such a farm, str a strong farming sector, good land, those implement dealers, as you mentioned, um, it really helps to continue the growth of those communities. So uh, a real backbone to the area. And if anyone was wondering, you know, economically, how is Melford doing? I think he would say really well, because, you know, over the last little while, agriculture has done particularly well. And, and that does kind of help stabilize the economy and, and make things kind of move along. Well, and thankfully, the last couple of years have been pretty good crop years, especially this year, I think, if you ask most producers. And uh we're fortunate that we didn't have a lot of the drought situation that Southern Saskatchewan had um, the last couple of years. So we we weathered not that storm and <laughs> be a poor choice of words, but we weathered that. And uh, it's been, you know, every year is you never know what you're going to get. Right. So but uh, it's it's well set up for the future. And this is a real estate podcast cam so let's talk about the the house price range and and what someone can get in the in the city of Melford if we were to say compare it first to, firstly to a place like Saskatoon and even go as far as like a Vancouver or a Toronto <laughs> well I can guarantee you the house prices in Melford are less than the average in Vancouver and Toronto um and there's a wide variety of housing available in Melford um uh, you know the the supply necessarily is is not huge in that there i think the supply issues are province wide pretty much there the number of houses available and, and properties available are maybe a little lower than they have been in the past but uh, i i think as as a whole melford's doing pretty well and uh the housing market i mean i think the average price for a house in melford this year the average sale price was just a tick under 200 grand. Um, I'd have to check those stats, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And it's been right around that $200,000 mark the last few years. So uh, you can still get a very good house for, you know, between 150 and $200,000. Um, there are, like I said, there's a wide variety or there are things for, you know, people that are budget conscious or those that are looking to buy a rental property and fix it up and, and rent it out. You know, there, there are options that way. Um, there are, not middle of the road houses, but, you know, average priced houses and they're higher end, you know, in, in certain areas of the city. So it's, it's kind of got that range. It's everything from, you know, $40,000 all the way up to near a million dollars right now. So if you have an interest in housing and if you, you're looking for a place, uh, chances are there's something that will suit your, suit your fancy here. So, um, by all means, uh, let someone know and uh, we'll be able to help you out. And and from that side, if you drive around Melfort and you're trying to find like, well, where's the, where's the bad area? You know, where, where's the place where I, I really wouldn't want to live? It, it's really hard to find a street in Melfort where you say, I wouldn't feel safe to, to be here at night, or I would have a problem with, with living here. There's tons of great areas within the city being a smaller city. Um, but, but it is a really nice place from that sense that there's not necessarily a, an area that you would go where, where you say a, a no-go zone. That's right. It's, I mean, it's back to the small town feel, right? It's not, it's not the big cities where you have maybe an area that's a little less desirable to buy a home. Um, I, I think Melford pretty much is fairly even across the board. There, there are certainly neighborhoods that are more desirable than others, but uh, on a whole, I think you're right. I think it's it's not something that's a deal breaker. I don't think if you buy a house in a certain spot rather than another one. So, awesome. All right, Cam. Just before we wrap up the interview, I like to ask everyone this question who comes on: If you could go back and give a piece of advice to young Cam Lee, what would that advice be? Huh. <laughs> Where do you stand? Where do you start? Hey, 
first of all, buy a lot of Apple stock, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <interesting>. sure. <laughs> but uh, I think just don't be afraid if life doesn't go the way you think it's going to go. Um, you know, I thought I was going to be a, a news director and a broadcaster for the rest of my life, and it didn't turn out that way. And, you know, things happen, and, and I guess they happen for a reason. And and you just kind of have to roll with the punches and, and move on and do things that you feel passionate about. And I feel passionate about this. I'm really excited to start my career and help people, you know, sell a house and or move into their dream home or just their first house, you know, and uh, or sell a lot for somebody to build their dream house. It's uh, it's an exciting time. And uh, I really look forward to uh, developing relationships with people and getting to know them and, and what they want out of a, a real estate transaction. And uh, I hope I can fulfill those needs for them and, and move on going forward. Just quickly expand on the area that you serve, Cam. What communities would you say that are your uh, your hubs of where you'd be able to buy and sell or help someone uh, purchase, uh, purchase a home? Um, I guess basically anywhere in northeast Saskatchewan, north central Saskatchewan, uh, Melfort down to Nakem, Watson area, uh, over to Greenwater Lake, maybe even south to Calvington. I've got uh, my wife is from Calvington, so you know I'm familiar with that area a little bit. Uh, Tisdale, Nippon, I mentioned uh, east to sorry west to Canistano, even St. Brew, your old stomping ground, kind of that area there. Like I'm not. I'm not a person that says, well, I can only deal in Melford. You know, if you have a property that you really want and it's somewhere that's an hour, hour and a half drive, you know, that that's fine. We'll, we'll make it work. So, awesome. uh, yeah. So it's, uh, I, I think in the bigger cities, they have maybe a little more luxury as to, well, I don't want to, you know, go outside of Saskatoon or Regina, but I, that doesn't bother me. I like to drive. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm willing to meet you and, uh, and talk to you about that. Awesome. So someone's listening, they're looking at uh, purchasing or buying something, uh, maybe listing a property, what's the best way for them to to get in contact with you, Cam? Uh, they can contact me at any time at 306-921-9521 is my cell phone number. You could just send me a text or uh, give me a call. Uh, my email address is cam, C-A-M, at prairieskiesrealty.com. Uh, if you uh, want to give me a, an email, you can send it that way. I just want to say thank you to uh, my fellow uh, realtors at Prairie Skies, uh, Robin Luthai, Ryan Anderson, and April Gorenson. If you uh, have property in the Candle Lake area, uh, April's your April's your hookup. So give her a shout. But uh, yeah, just uh, I'm I'm excited. I'm having fun, and I look forward to uh, a new chapter in my career. Fantastic. Great group of people, but we better wrap it up. The sun is going to start burning my face <laughs> off here, but thank you so much for your time, Cam. I really appreciate your expertise and all the best in the new venture. You're going to do excellent. And I think right off the bat here, you're you're the man for the job with so much expertise and knowledge of the area. I think it's a, it's a really great move for you. And if I don't know anything, I know Robin and Ryan who have been in the industry longer than I have will know. So I'll ask them and we'll get going. Awesome, Cam. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much, Ron. Hey, thanks for checking out this episode of the Saskatchewan Real Estate Podcast. I hope you found it informative and you've learned a little something about Melfort, Saskatchewan. If you did find it informative, do us a favor, help us grow the YouTube channel by hitting the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Until next week, I'm Ron Caroni, your Saskatchewan mortgage professional. Bye for now.